to the Torium. Special things for this type of the young lady that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about uh, discrete probability distribution. Okay, so as a review, we will be also uh, defining what is a random variable. Okay, so let's just have here, let's just write the random variable. Okay. So in a sense, a random variable is a variable which value, okay, which value is determined by chance, okay, or the value itself is determined by the probability experiment. So for example, if I have a a toss of a coin so my experiment is a toss of a coin so i have a possible outcome of t which stands for tails and a possible outcome of h which stands for heads okay then my sample space will be tails and head so that is a random variable now if i'm going to define what is a probability distribution so you have anyone in orange probability distribution okay so it is a distribution or a table which less uh, the possible outcome and probability of an experiment okay so again a probability distribution is a table which lists the possible outcomes so it is plural here this is this is outcomes and the probability of an experiment so meaning so it is also in the table in the list the probability on which those uh, that certain outcome will occur so for example if i'm going to list okay this the probability distribution of tossing a coin okay so of course our um, data here or our variable here will be discrete so that's why we will be making a discrete prob probability distribution so we have here the the outcome here and this will be the probability okay. probability okay. so we have that one maybe in white okay so if, if the possible outcome will be um, the possible outcome will be tails, tail or a head. Okay. So the pro the probability of getting a tail in one toss of a coin. So that is one out of two possible outcomes because we have two possible outcomes. So this will be fifty percent or fifty percent. The head also is one out of two, which is also fifty percent. So here we have made a a simple discrete probability distribution so it is called discrete pro probability distribution because we have a finite number of um, possible outcomes or values so our values or our outcome itself is a discrete random variable so that's why this is a discrete probability distribution but not but not to confuse the definition about probability distribution so it is just a table which lists the possible outcome and the corresponding uh, probability of a certain experiment okay so we'll have another example for us to 
um, be more um, uh, be uh, be clearer with this um, or be more clear in making the discrete prob prob probability distribution okay so first for example we have um, let me think um, okay. Um, okay so we need to uh, create a probability okay probability distribution okay distribution for an experiment of getting a color so you have a color out of possible seven colors in a box okay so we need to get the um the probability distribution to create the probability distribution of this experiment so getting a color out of possible seven colors in a box so if it is not stated so we just assume that we will be the one um determining that color of course in doing the experiment so we have a box then we have seven colors in which we uh, we select those colors maybe uh, seven uh, cloth with clothes with different colors so we selected those colors then we just put in a box and of course the experiment itself is again is uh, will be random because we don't know what color we will be getting once we once we put those colors on the box okay so for example uh, we have our colors okay so our outcomes so seven we have red blue then we have green yellow violet one two three four five uh, black okay and orange okay then the probability so we're not be creating the table the probability okay so for red the chance for us of getting red out of those seven colors in the box so we have one out of seven Okay, so if you are going to calculate this one using our calculator, okay, so this is one, um, one divided by seven. Let me just get my calculator here. Okay, that will be fourteen point three percent. Okay, so I have just rounded it to the nearest. Um, one decimal place then for blue is still one out of seven so it's 14.3 percent green so one of seven that is 14.3 percent yellow one of seven 14.3 percent violet one of seven 14.3 percent black one of seven okay equal to 14.3 percent also an orange one out of seven which is 14.3 percent so there you go you have um you have made a probability distribution script prob probability distribution okay for this problem now in an instance for example if for example we have changed one of the colors for example we have only uh, for example we have seven clothes but we, we don't have um, seven colors but we have only six colors so one uh, two of those colors are uh, two of those clothes have the same color for example two of them are all red so 
we don't have a color orange okay so just delete the color orange here okay so what happened now is we have two possible cases or two possible chance chances in which we could get um we could get red because our red we have two clots which is uh, which are color red so that's why two out of seven and, th and this will be 28.3 uh, 0.6 sorry for that so this 28.6 percent okay. 0.6 percent so just multiply it by two so that is how we are going to um to make the property distribution of any experiment if we are given with a discrete random variables okay so again the probability distribution is a table listing the possible outcomes and its cor corresponding probability okay so i hope you learned something from this video thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning